Okay, so now we're ready for the next step, which is corking. Okay, so we just filled five bottles, and uh, this is the cork machine, and uh, it does two things. It squeezes the cork down. Here's a cork. I've just got it in water, so it'll soften up. But you can see that the cork, as it's made, is bigger than the mouth of the bottle. Yep, okay. not by a lot, but enough. Not by a lot. So we put the bottles on here, which line it up with the hole. Now take a look through the hole. And what I'm going to do is I'll put the cork in here. You can see it fits right in there. And then as I squeeze, as I pull the lever down, it squeezes the cork down. That's just a little water. And when it gets small enough, it shoves it into the bottle. Open it up. And there's your cork pot. Woohoo! So we'll do another one real quick so yep. you can do it from here. Oh. Do it from there. So, so this is one. also a really quick, efficient process. One bottle at a time. Yeah, it's a slight bit noisy. And that's a little springy thing that it sits on. Yeah, so there Yeah, that springs up and down, but once you start lowering it, it locks it in place. Oh, that's it keeps good. the bottle from shoving out of the way before. One of the more interesting little parts of that mechanism. I think this is the last one. Yep. Right. So then what we'll do is we'll store these upright for a day or so because we just squeeze that little bit of air, let that kind of pass through the cork, and then lay it on its side. So it'll be vertical for a day or two, and then we can store it horizontally like you're supposed to do with one. All right, so we are almost done. We have one more step in the process besides drinking, which is labeling. And so labeling and uh, oh, and capping. Okay, so we have a few more videos. So, all right, I'll let you continue. All right.